This week on NSSF's Shooting Sportscast, we're in Springfield, Massachusetts at the Smith & Wesson IDPA Indoor Nationals. With me is Paul Pluff. And Paul, tell me about the Indoor Nationals. Well, this is our 16th year doing the Indoor Nationals, and it's a very unique match. Uh, it's, it's an IDPA sanctioned match, and it's a, it's, a, it's a national level match. So we've actually ratcheted up the level of the competition and, and the skill set it takes to shoot these things. Uh, but being our 16th year, we really wanted to make it special. So when we come in here, uh, it's uniquely different than any other match you're going to go to. It's strictly indoors, okay? So we have 13 stages of, of, of fire here, 13 different courses, very elaborate. Uh, Consistent of, of, of a round count of right around 169 uh, rounds, so it's significant. It's a significant match. But the neat thing about being indoors, you can do it smack in the middle of winter. Here it is February, snow on the ground, 25 degrees out, and we're in short, we're in here shooting a match. Uh, the other aspect to it is as you start to go through these matches, you know we have some very elaborate matches. You're going to see everything from a, a, a we actually rebuilt a uh, van or an ambulance inside here. Mm -hmm. You got you know got dock with boats. You got a wedding going on. All sorts of scenarios. But we also can do something that nobody else can do is we can adjust the lighting from zero light, no light, low light, to having bright light and light in your eyes. So we make it very challenging for the shooters. Um, and uh, the guys that come up here to show up, they come up here to they come up here to win and to play the game. That's great, Paul. Now IDPA, uh, 16 years of holding this match, and IDPA is just exploding in, with growth. It is. I think one of the things that we're seeing, uh, especially this past couple, past year, we've seen a, a, a big increase in sales of, of firearms to new shooters. But with that, we are seeing uh, a whole lot of new people coming into the shooting sports. And that's exactly what we want. We, we want people to engage into the shooting sports so they develop the love and continue to shoot. And that's what IEDPA is doing for it. It's building our next generation shooters and that next hardcore lover of shooting and shooting sports. But Paul, why don't you tell me a little bit about what kind of equipment you need to get started? Well, IDPA is pretty interesting because it's International Defensive Pistol Association. And back when they initially developed it, the whole concept was to build a skill set for real life scenarios to be able to protect yourself. So what you need is you, you need to have a production-based gun, okay? You can't take that out of a production. If it's built with safeties, it's got to have the safeties in there. We actually do checks on that. you got to have a, a good holster. you got to have mag pouches. And in some cases, unlike most matches, in our match, you got to have a flashlight because you don't have a flashlight. When those lights go out, you're in a whole lot of trouble. And you got to make sure you have magazines, okay, and enough of them to compete. And, and usually what you're going to need is a minimum of five magazines because you're going to shoot anywhere from, uh, you know, a six-round, six you know, tactical skill set up to could be 18 or 20 rounds uh, on a stage. So you want to make sure you have plenty of uh, mags and plenty of ammo. It's really designed for somebody to practice the, the tactical skills that they need to carry concealed. That, that, that's correct, but I, I will tell you this. IDPA started out as a training base to, to improve your skill set, but what it has turned into is just a whole lot of fun. So we're seeing new shooters come in here all the time. And uh, I like to tell everybody, is come, shoot it, enjoy it. It can be somewhat humbling uh, because it's real, real world, uh, and we make tough stages here. But at the end of the day, no matter whether you shoot well or you shoot bad, you're going to walk away with a smile on your face, and that's what it's all about. You're ready. ready. Stand by. With me is Kitty Richards, who's an ambassador for IDPA shooting. Now, Kitty, you're having a great time here, aren't you? I'm having a ball, and so are all of the other contestants that I've seen. Now, I'm, I'm relatively new to shooting this sport, and you've been a great help for me. What can you tell other people that are interested in getting into tactical shooting about IDPA? Well, as you know, recently there has been a huge increase in firearm sales, especially among women. One of the great things about IDPA is that it helps you practice skills that you would really use in a self-defense scenario. It is especially welcoming to women. So there is a, a large group of women in the sport already. We'd love to help other women come on board. So it's, it's just a great opportunity for anybody, male or female, who wants to come in and learn how to use their self-defense gun better. Now, Kitty, I know it may look a little bit intimidating to people because you've got a clock that's counting down the seconds as you're shooting at all the targets. What's with the clock? Why, why do we have that? Well, one of the things it does is give you a little bit of induced stress because obviously in a self-defense encounter, that's going to be important. The other thing it does is help us measure, like a classifier course of fire, 
how well you do. So what that means is if I come in as a novice shooter, I'm only going to be competing against other novice shooters. So I'm not going to compare myself to a professional shooter who's been shooting for 20 years. I'm going to compare myself to somebody else who's been shooting for the same amount of time at the same level that I am. Understood. So you can also track your progress and see how you're getting better. Exactly. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, Kitty. And we're going to get back out and do some more shooting. With me is Joyce Wilson, and she's the executive director of IDPA. And Joyce, can you tell me a little bit about this match? What's going on here? This match is one of the premier matches in the country. Smith & Wesson's been putting the match on for 16 years now. Um, indoor matches are a little bit different than outdoor matches because you've got constraints as far as the bay size, you know, and, and height and all that kind of good stuff. Um, Smith does a beautiful job. They've got some incredibly creative people that build these stages. We're lucky to have this particular stage, which is done by the Coast Guard. They always make it beautiful and, and lots of props. Um, it's a premier match in the country and everybody wants to be here. You know, it's really tough because there's like 300 spots and 21,000 members. Let's take a step back and why don't you explain to me what IDPA is? IDPA is a shooting sport that's generally based around concealed carry. Um, many of the other shooting sports that were developed in the past were basically run and gun matches where you could use any kind of equipment. When the founders developed IDPA, they wanted something to be a lot more realistic. So therefore, they put more equipment restraints on guns so that you can't use you know, the electronic optics and things like that. Um, they wanted it to be such that, you know, average citizen could go out, buy, you know, a stock Glock, Uncle Mike's holster, have a couple of magazines, box of ammo, and go shoot a match. All for relatively inexpensively. And they accomplished that. IDPA has grown tremendously since it was first started. The founders thought they, you know, they'd be real happy if they had a couple thousand people or actually when they first started they, they thought they'd be real happy if they had more than themselves shooting a match. Well now 16 years later we're at 21,000 plus members in the United States and I think now 52 or 53 foreign countries. Well that's great and with that growth you're, you're seeing a lot of new people getting involved with the sport aren't you? IDPA has experienced tremendous growth with new shooters because they're looking for even though we're not training per se we're very very much more realistic in the sport than other sports so therefore they can learn things like a little bit of tactics and how to reload proper gun handling safe gun handling and it's just it's a tremendous place for new shooters and especially women because we're a very friendly sport you know, our safety officers are more than helpful especially to new shooters and that's the beauty of the sport is we're, we're just such a friendly group at least I think so that's great and now if you're a brand new shooter and you want to get involved with IDPA shooting, how should you do that? We've got local clubs all over the country. You can either go on the website and look for a local club. You can sign up through the website. Um, maybe you've got a local gun shop that knows where the closest IDPA competition is. Um, or you can call headquarters. Excellent. So what's your website address? It's www.idpa.com. So now that you know how to get involved with IDPA, check out their website. It's IDPA.com. And if you're looking for a place to shoot in your local area, check out our website, wheretoshoot.org. And when you're on the range, remember, firearm safety depends on you.